recently, if you wanted a Kawasaki Z street bike, you were going to spend well over 10 grand. Not anymore. Kawasaki's importing its $8,400 Z800 ABS in every state except California. So it's a good thing we came to Southern Oregon to test it. Now I know a lot of you have seen the specs on this motorcycle, a uh, curb weight of over 500 pounds, a little bit older style engine architecture, older style chassis. Uh, it's really amazing what Kawasaki's done and how they've really, really kept that Z heritage in this $8,400 Z800 ABS. Uh, from the engine to the styling, that's probably my favorite feature of the bike is just how good it looks. I mean, the shape of the headers, the 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 embossed seat cover, the, the angular look of the front headlight, and just all the angles of the bike. Like they really, really did a good job keeping that that punchy, aggressive Z look, but still being able to keep the price down below nine grand. I think that's a great feature. Handling wise, this bike is pretty cozy around town. The seating position's upright. The suspension's a little bit on the fast side. So it definitely gives good ride quality. And the only time it really kind of makes it not super awesome is when you're really, really wailing on the thing. Thankfully, Kawasaki engineers put some damping in it. You can actually slow down the shock a little bit and there is a little bit of adjustment in the suspension. So you can actually ride this bike pretty hard. Uh, if you're gonna do something like track days or a little bit more aggressive riding, you might start thinking about getting the suspension modified. You're going to have to ditch those Dunlop Sport Max D214 tires pretty quick because not only do they wear out fast, but they don't have the best grip. Um, a little higher spec quality tire would do wonders for, for the handling and the, the outright grip of this motorcycle. Another nice feature about the Z800 is just the fact that it comes with ABS standard. Um, if you're a new rider or someone who doesn't really have a lot of experience or you're riding in, in a crappy weather where it rains, you know, a lot of dirt on the roads, like there is here in Southern Oregon, the ABS can really come in handy. Um, my only gripe is that you can't manually disable it. Well, you actually can, but you have to do like a burnout or a wheelie or do some kind of hijinks that we can't recommend to you. But if you do that, you do get manual braking. Otherwise, for $8,400, if you want a bike to jet around town on, have some fun, pop some wheelies, look cool, have that authentic Kawasaki sound, that Z powerful inline four roar, this bike will do it. This bike's a fun motorcycle to ride. Now, if this bike was mine, the first thing I'd do would be ditch the stock Dunlop Sport Max tires. Probably put something on a little bit more grippy, like Dunlop Sport Max Q3 or Pirelli's newly released Diablo Rosso 3. Both of those tires are super good. The Q3 qualifier is going to be a little bit less expensive, so if you don't kind of tie on cash, that's probably going to be the option for you. I love the engine in this Z800, but man, it would sound a little bit better with a pair of pipes. A nice slip-on exhaust from Yoshimura would really, really wake up this bike and make it sound a lot, lot more mean. I know Yoshimura and a lot of other exhaust manufacturers have baffles to keep that sound down. So it'll sound good in the cockpit when you're revving it to the moon, yet it won't wake Aunt Dorothy or your neighbor when you're coming home from work at, late at night. As far as engine fueling, usually when you put an exhaust on a motorcycle, you kind of have to tune the fueling. But honestly, the, the throttle response and the fuel injection settings on this motorcycle are so good stock, I would take a risk and put a slip-on muffler on without changing the EFI settings. It runs really clean. But even in stock form, there's not a whole lot not to like about Kawasaki Z800. From the styling to that authentic Z signature engine feel that just makes you want to ride more and more and more, if you put one of these bikes in your garage, you're gonna be happy.